Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rajiv Aroda. I am a qualified lawyer and a Canadian immigration expert with India's leading immigration company, Nationwide Immigration Services. We are a team of more than 200 immigration professionals who work for one country, one product that is Canada PR Visa. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Canada's startup visa program. If you are a business owner or if you have a business experience, then this video is for you. If you are thinking to move to Canada, then watch my this video till the end. You will have 100% clarity on on Canada startup visa what is Canada startup visa how much time it takes how much investment it takes and what is the fee and the charges we will talk each and everything about startup visa program in this video and if you like my video please like it and share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel because we talk on how to move to Canada on my immigration channel on my this YouTube channel and any of my videos can be beneficial and useful for you and for your friends so stay tuned till the end what is canada startup visa hota kya hai canada ka startup visa you are investing into a business the canadian startup visa says you have to invest in a canadian business and that business has to be innovative not only you have to invest into a business is the first thing and through that business you should be having ability in that business to scale up your business on world level which means you have to invest in business and scale that business on international level this is the eligibility of startup visa program yes you do not require any kind of net worth you do not require high level of english level you just need clb level 5 and you must have an innovative business idea you will contact three entities these are first venture capital funds Second is angel investor groups and third is business incubators. These are the three entities who will issue you a letter of support in order to get your PR visa or in order to apply for your work permit. Canada Immigration Department has given this authority, this permission to three entities. I'm repeating it again. Business incubators, angel investor groups, and venture capital funds these are three entities a total of 76 entities are there in canada who can support your business plan business idea and if they support to your business plan and your business idea you will be issued a letter of support and a commitment certificate what is commitment certificate and what is letter of support we will discuss now let's talk about letter of support first letter of support is a letter which will help you apply for your work permit visa this letter will support your work permit application or this letter will support your permanent residence application so this is called letter of support support given by either of three bodies business incubators venture capital funds or angel investor groups right so this is letter of support given by three entities they have power in their hands that they are analyzing your business they are analyzing your business concept and they are impressed with your business innovative idea and they are issuing you this letter of support they are supporting you so this means if you get support from these entities you will be able to apply for your work permit or permanent residence application right what you need is unique innovative great business idea which they are going to like this is letter of support second is what they will issue commitment certificate what is commitment certificate that if they are issuing you letter of support they will also be issuing you commitment certificate that you must have to establish that business in canada if they are issuing you letter of support they are not only issuing you letter of support, they need commitment from you as well. So commitment certificate is also issued which has specific terms and conditions of implementing that business in Canada. Minimum business investment in Canada. So that depends on business to business. What is your business and according to your business idea, they will create those clauses for your business, right? Which you will have to perform in Canada. So these two things, if they issue, then you will be able to apply for permanent residency or your work permit application and you move to Canada in three to four months or maximum by six to seven months of time. So this is the fastest program which has been issued by 
Canada Immigration Department. In startup visa program, people are confused, like how to you know go about it, what to do. So people are not sure about uh, about this program. Startup visa is like in India, you open your company with MCA or in uh, any you know incorporation uh, authority. You open your company. Either there will be only you, or there will be a few partners. There that could be right. So the same way in Canada also, when you open a company, it can be only by you as well, or it can be limited company as well. It can be partnership firm as well. If your business idea needs a few people like CEO, CFO, CTO, so a group of people can also form this company and can invest in that particular business. It is not mandatory that only single person will do this, but business plan has to be one on which each and everybody will be the part of that company and they will submit that business plan that idea together uh, being the ceo cto cfo of the company and they will submit that plan to designated authorities there are 25 venture capital funds there are eight angel investors and there are 43 business incubators in canada who can support you you can contact these authorities and if you need help in order to obtain your letter of support, you can contact Nationwide Immigration Services. We can help you with letter of support in three to four months of time. What business incubators do, what venture capitals do, what angel investors do. Business incubators, they train you, they conduct boot camp trainings. They train you on how to invest in Canada, how to open bank accounts, how to do business, how to get licenses, right? They give you information on taxation system of Canada, how things work in Canada, how business work in Canada how to hire employees in Canada so business incubators help you on these criteria and they train you on uh, these things when they see your business plan so you can directly also contact these entities if you have business plan with you right and if they like it they will issue letter of support and you're good to go whether your age is high, whether your CRS score is less, whether your CLB level is low, that doesn't matter. If they like the, your business idea, you have to create a strong, great uh, business plan and you can contact these entities by yourself as well. So business incubator, they do not invest in your business, right? Investment is going to be yours. Now, if venture capital funds, if they like your business idea, venture capital funds, right? they have to invest at least 200,000 Canadian dollars in your business in order to issue you letter of support. This is the criteria of venture capital funds. If we talk about angel investor group, they have to invest a minimum of 75,000 Canadian dollars in your business idea, in your business plan to support you and to issue you letter of support. So these are the criteria, these are the process and the charges Canada Startup Visa are 2140 is going to be your application processing and right to permanent residence fee charges 2140. If you're going along with your spouse, you have to make a payment of 1365 CAD for your spouse as per November 2022. This fee can change as well in coming future and for that you can check these uh, charges online as well. So 2140 and 1365 is the fee if you are going along with your children. 230 Canadian dollars is the charge for per children's application. So these are the charges for your application. There is a fee of 230 Canadian dollars which has to be paid to Canadian CRA revenue agencies through employer job portal. You have to create your uh, portal on CRA. You have to uh, with uh, Canada revenue agency and you have to make a payment of 230 Canadian dollars wherein you will be giving job to yourself through this portal. So this is a process. This is a you know part of this Canada startup visa process and we will we can guide you more uh, professionally more in detail when you will be having one-on-one -on -one discussion with us I uh, welcome you for a cup of coffee at nationwide immigration services to have a detailed detailed discussion on your particular profile and uh, uh, the investment I will now discuss what is the investment which you have to make in a Canadian business that depends from 1 lakh Canadian dollars to 
1 million as well that depends on your business plan what are you going to invest that i can discuss with you in person meeting i wish you all the very best and i want to see you in canada good day